The vacuum of space may seem empty, but quantum physics paints a very different picture. Even in complete darkness and absolute cold, the vacuum hums with restless activity, particles briefly appear, fluctuate and disappear again, all within the blink of a Planck time. These fluctuations known as zero-point energy suggest that nothingness is far from empty. It is no wonder that scientists have long wondered, if this sea of quantum energy exists all around us, why can't we extract power from it? This leads us to the quantum vacuum energy extraction paradox, a puzzle that asks why, despite the apparent abundance of vacuum energy, all attempts to tap into it run up against the brick wall of energy conservation. In this video we explore why these fleeting quantum fluctuations cannot be used as a limitless energy source. While effects like the Casimir force and dynamic mirror experiments show measurable interactions with the vacuum, every photon pulled from the void comes with a cost, usually from the motion or work applied by an external source. The paradox lies in how quantum laws permit temporary fluctuations without violating conservation, yet strictly forbid the permanent extraction of energy from the vacuum itself. It is a beautiful contradiction, space is alive with potential, but always keeps the books balanced. This paradox reminds us that while the rules of quantum physics are strange, they are never broken, they just hide their consistency in surprising ways. How can systems exploit the incessant fluctuations of the quantum vacuum, an arena teeming with virtual particles and zero-point energy, yet remain bound by the rigid constraints of conservation laws? In theory, the vacuum of quantum field theory is a vast reservoir of energy a stage where even empty space vibrates with quantum fluctuations. However, the process of extracting this energy confronts a profound paradox. Any attempt to harvest the vacuum's energy runs headlong into the immutable conservation laws that have been the cornerstone of physics for over a century. So far so good until one digs deeper into the quantum underpinnings and the consequences of meddling with the vacuum state. The quantum vacuum energy extraction paradox emerges when theoretical models designed to harness the vacuum's energy are measured against the strict requirements of energy conservation. In a perfectly isolated system where time translation symmetry guarantees a fixed amount of energy, any process that purports to gain energy from the zero-point fluctuations implies the spontaneous creation of energy from nothing. This directly conflicts with the principle that while quantum fluctuations allow transient borrowing of energy due to the uncertainty principle, they must ultimately settle back to maintain global energy balance. At the most fundamental level, the quantum vacuum is not a bland, featureless void, but a dynamic interplay of virtual particles that momentarily pop into existence. Their ephemeral nature, as dictated by the uncertainty principle, means that any energy borrowed to facilitate these fluctuations is rigorously time-limited. In attempts like the dynamic Casimir effect, where moving boundaries generate real photons from vacuum fluctuations, the energy observed in the produced radiation can be completely accounted for by the external work done on the system. The energy doesn't emerge from the vacuum as a free lunch. Instead, it is a direct conversion of the energy invested in modulating the system. Moreover, the conundrum intensifies when considering a hypothetical device that seeks to continually extract energy from the vacuum without any compensatory mechanism. Any such scheme would, in principle, lower the energy of the vacuum below its defined ground state, a concept that stands in stark contradiction to the established structure of quantum field theory. The very idea that the vacuum can be tapped to provide usable energy challenges the symmetry of time and the inexorable rule that energy must be conserved over any observable time frame. This inherent tension underscores the paradox. While the vacuum is vibrantly alive with quantum activity, its fluctuations cannot be harnessed in a way that circumvents the ledger of conservation. At even finer scales, the situation acquires additional layers of complexity. The theoretical frameworks attempting to address vacuum energy extraction must reconcile local, momentary imbalances with global conservation. In any realistic scenario, the act of extraction, whether engineered through the manipulation of boundary conditions or via non-equilibrium processes, requires an external energy input. This input accounts for every joule of energy retrieved, ensuring that the net energy of the overall system does not defy the conservation law. This is analogous to the situation in the dynamic Casimir effect, what might superficially appear as extraction from the vacuum is entirely underwritten 
by the energy spent in moving mirrors or perturbing boundaries. And there is the broader question of what energy really means in such quantum settings. While classical mechanics treats energy as an unequivocal, conserved quantity, quantum mechanics reveals a more intricate dance where fluctuations, virtual particles, and uncertainties coexist in a delicate balance. Even if one were to theoretically isolate a segment of the vacuum to extract energy, the interplay between the measurement process, the observer's influence, and the inevitable back reaction from the quantum field would conspire to restore the system's overall energy balance. In other words, while vacuum fluctuations are a powerful reminder of the universe's latent energetic capacity, they stubbornly refuse to yield free, extractable energy without exacting a corresponding toll. Ultimately, the quantum vacuum energy extraction paradox is a testament to the profound and often counterintuitive nature of quantum theory. It challenges the notion that an abundant energy reservoir lies dormant in every vacuous expanse of space, insisting instead that the laws of physics are interwoven with checks and balances that preclude any violation of global conservation principles. Just as the hysteresis paradox forces us to recognize the enduring impact of history on a system's evolution, the vacuum energy paradox compels us to accept that the seemingly boundless energy of the quantum vacuum remains inextricably bound to the immutable laws that govern the cosmos. A reality that continues to inspire both theoretical inquiry and experimental scrutiny. The paradox centers on the idea that although the vacuum in quantum field theory is not empty but instead teems with zero-point fluctuations, any attempt to extract energy from it runs into the barrier of conservation laws. The vacuum's energy is intrinsic to its quantum nature, yet the very laws that allow these fluctuations also prevent their net harnessing without an external input. The Casimir effect demonstrates that while vacuum fluctuations can produce measurable forces between plates, the energy causing these forces cannot be extracted for free. It is like finding a wind in an enclosed, sealed room. The motion may be detectable, but it cannot drive a turbine without an opening that connects to the outside, where a pressure difference can be maintained. Classical physics dictates that energy is conserved, meaning that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but only transformed. In the quantum vacuum context, although zero-point energy exists, any extraction attempt must still obey conservation laws. The vacuum state is considered the ground state, Extracting energy would imply a violation of this foundation unless counterbalanced by energy input from an external source. In dynamic Casimir experiments, moving boundaries may generate photons from the vacuum, but the energy to move these boundaries is externally supplied, ensuring overall energy conservation. It is like trying to harvest water from an underground spring. It flows continuously, but without creating a new source, you must pump it in a way that obeys the conservation of mass and energy. At the microscopic level, quantum fluctuations arise from the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which allows for temporary energy borrowings that manifest as transient particle-antiparticle pairs. These virtual particles are a cornerstone of the quantum vacuum, yet they do not constitute a reliable source of extractable energy. Their brief existence is reconciled by an immediate return to the vacuum state, thereby preserving energy conservation on average, the lamp shift in atomic spectra is partially explained by the influence of these fluctuations, revealing how the vacuum's ephemeral excitations subtly alter measurable quantities without offering a net energy reserve. It is like borrowing money for a split second with the understanding that it will be paid back immediately. There is no net profit from the transaction. The quantum vacuum is a Lorentz invariant and homogeneous state, meaning its properties do not change from one point to another. This uniformity implies that any mechanism aiming to extract energy must impose an external asymmetry or disturbance, which inevitably requires additional energy. The extraction effort is thus counterbalanced by the work performed to create the necessary conditions for extraction. Proposals for extracting vacuum energy by altering boundary conditions, as in the modified Casimir effect, always entail compensatory energy expenditures to reconfigure the system's geometry or dynamics. It is like trying to siphon water from a perfectly still pond. The act of installing a siphon disturbs the system and requires energy to set up, ultimately negating any free gain. Processes like the dynamic Casimir effect highlight that while photons can indeed be generated from the vacuum via rapid changes in boundary conditions, the work done to cause these changes must be accounted for. This means that every extraction method involves an external energy investment that, when balanced with the energy output, results in no net gain. 
Experimental setups that use rapidly moving mirrors demonstrate that the power required to move the mirrors is equivalent to or greater than the energy of the generated radiation. It is like using a pump to move water uphill. The energy expended by the pump is greater than the gravitational potential energy gained by the water at the top. Quantum field theories incorporate restrictions known as quantum inequalities, which limit the magnitude and duration of any negative energy or exotic energy densities that might be used to extract net energy. These mathematical bounds ensure that even transient attempts to tap the vacuum cannot yield a sustainable energy output without an external balance. Quantum inequalities prevent the accumulation of large negative energy densities that could otherwise be exploited to create scenarios like traversable wormholes or perpetual motion machines. It is like having strict budget limits. No matter how small the fluctuations in your bank account are, you cannot overspend beyond your credit limit without consequences. The paradox not only reinforces the robustness of energy conservation in both classical and quantum regimes, but also informs us about the limits of what can be practically extracted from the vacuum. While the quantum vacuum does have a non nonal energy density, its utility as an energy source remains constrained by fundamental laws. This insight guides research in fields ranging from quantum gravity to nanotechnology, where understanding the vacuum is crucial for future innovations. Technologies that harness effects similar to the Casimir force may one day find applications in nanoscale devices, where controlling these forces can help design more efficient microelectromechanical systems, MEMS. It is like recognizing that while a seemingly infinite natural resource exists, such as sunlight, its practical use is limited by the capacity of current technology to capture and convert it into usable energy. Modeling the quantum vacuum and designing an apparatus for energy extraction poses significant challenges due to the delicate balance of energy inputs and outputs. Even if transient energy outputs are observed, ensuring that they are not offset by the energy required to initiate the extraction process remains a major hurdle. Small deviations in system parameters or inaccuracies in energy accounting can quickly nullify any perceived gains. Theoretical models that simulate vacuum energy extraction demonstrate that any configuration yielding photons or other particles from the vacuum necessitates an equivalent external input, leaving no room for excess energy. It is like trying to win a game of musical chairs where the number of chairs never exceeds the number of players. The extra effort expended to secure a chair energy input always matches the reward energy output, resulting in a stalemate. Future research in quantum field theory and experimental physics aims to deepen the understanding of vacuum fluctuations and explore their boundary effects in controlled settings. While a net energy gain from the vacuum remains elusive due to conservation law puzzles, studying these processes could yield insights into quantum gravity, dark energy, and the structure of space-time. Advancements in theoretical modeling and precision experiments might one day refine our approach to these limits, potentially leading to innovative applications that harness related effects without violating fundamental principles. Next-generation experiments in quantum optics and nanotechnology may explore novel boundary conditions or engineered materials that optimize the interaction with vacuum fluctuations, although always within the confines of energy conservation. It is like mapping an unexplored but treacherous landscape. Each new discovery brings us closer to understanding the terrain, even if we do not immediately find a way to exploit its resources for free. 